Hello all and today we will be discussing about how to launch a Windows 2016 EC2 instance. So this is my AWS account and uh, let me quickly go to EC2 over here. As you see I don't have any instances running at this time so I'm going to launch a new instance. For this demo, uh, I will be using free tier instances only. So if I scroll down in the list of instances that we have, as you see, there's a Windows uh, Server 2016 based uh, AMI available. So I'm going to use this one. So let's select this AMI. I'm going to use uh, T2 Micro for this uh, demo, but feel free to use uh, a uh, larger size instance if you if you feel to I'm going to in, uh, instance the number of instances over here as you see is one so I'm going to launch one one instance this instance is going to be launched in my default VPC and I'm going to launch it in US East 1A uh, I'll also give it an auto assign public IP and I'm going to leave the rest of the settings as default and move to storage. Uh, as you see by default, I'm being given three gigabytes of 30 gigabytes of uh, storage size for a general purpose SSD uh, volume type. So I'm going to take the default and go further ahead. I'm going to add in tag. So let's say I'm going to say environment. Uh, you can add additional tags if you want create a new security group of so I'm going to say Windows Server 2016 SG as you see RDP is enabled on this if we want we can add additional rule of enabling HTTP. Now, the idea behind enabling HTTP would be if you are planning to use this EC2 instance as a web server. Okay, so in that case, you probably want to enable HTTP and uh, HTTPS. The other uh, advisable or recommended way, for, especially for RDP, um, if you want to re restrict the access from where you can RDP into this machine, Let's say if you want to only you only want your developers to RDP this machine through their uh, of through your office network or from a specific uh, location. Maybe right now I would only want uh, myself to RDP, you know, from my current IP wherever I am. So in that case, um, I will select over here as uh, my IP. And now I'm going to click on review and uh, launch. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you see, you can see a summary over here. Uh, all the options that we had selected till now have been uh, summarized over here really very well. So let's go ahead and click on launch now. I'm going to use my existing key pair for this. So and then finally go ahead and launch my instances. So as you see, uh, my instance request is being currently worked on, it's currently in a pending state and the status checks are being initialized. So I'll pause the video over here right now and then resume recording once. You see our instance is running and all the checks are completed. So let's try and connect to the instance. Okay, so instance is up and running, I'm going to uh, select my key pair. Decrypt password. Uh, I want to copy your password. Download the remote desktop file. Open it. Try and connect.
as you see the instance is coming up and shortly we should be able to connect to the EC2 instance. So there it is and this is the EC2 instance that we just launched a few minutes back. So thank you for watching my video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please do uh, subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, uh, please do leave comments. So if you want me to uh, record a video on any specific topic uh, in AWS, do let me know. Thank you.